Welcome back, I'm Bob Pacino, bringing you another Gran Turismo 7 gameplay video. And already, as the race begins, we are starting to see fighting occur just before turn 1. And going through turn 1, we can see the madness begin to unfold as everyone is trying to make it the decider of their success. I am somehow able to squeeze by holding the inside of the turn and trying to not bump into anyone. No point in fighting so early in the race, so I just try to keep up with those in front and hopefully pull away from those behind us. Today I'm bringing you my GR Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup Grand Final 2022 Round 2 footage at Fuji International Speedway, and wow, that is a mouthful. I think we just got a glimpse of the continuous fighting I'm running away from. I definitely had a better line than Dixie coming out of that last turn, but he was positioned perfectly to be in the slipstream of coach. I go behind Dixie. Dixie takes the inside and coach goes to block me and breaks early. I was not expecting that and completely wreck him. Nothing I could do about that. My focus right now is to try to keep up with the drivers in front, which is easier said than done. But this week has been a busy one, with a lot of events besides the daily races, and they all appear to be inspired by the recent World Championships. In this race, we're all driving the 2021 Toyota GR10 Hybrid, which is a fairly easy handling prototype car to drive. There are 14 of us competing in this race, and this is the last one of the night so it may explain some of the aggression that occurs. Unfortunately, this was also my only one for the night, as I completely forgot this was happening. Not getting much time to practice, and with only a 10 minute qualifier, I somehow start in 10th position, and now find myself in third after only two laps. The drivers in front are pulling away, and at this point, I'm trying to stay calm to reduce any mistakes. Dixie makes the clean move into first, and I somehow was able to close the gap. Why are they fighting now? Dixie hit me from the side, and I don't know what his state of mind is after getting hit from Ivan, so I back off. see the opportunity and manage to pull ahead of him cleanly. Luckily, Dixie sees we cannot let Ivan get away. So he bump drafts me so we can speed up. And we were able to close the gap.
I didn't expect the tires to wear so quickly and I'm starting to find it difficult to handle. Dixie's last bump throws me off, and I go too deep into turn one while I'm in the pass. Looks like Ivan and Dixie are having no issues with their tires. Fast forward here because for four laps, Dixie and Ivern were able to build up a huge gap for me and now everyone is, is in the process of trying to figure out if they should pit for new tires. After 10 laps, my medium tires are done, so I'll pit on this lap and move to hard tires. Not sure if this was the right decision. I was expecting to see Dixie pit around lap 10 or 11 so that I would catch up using the hard tires and then pass him when I transition on the last stint on the soft tires. Ivan gets past me as I exit the pits, putting me back in third, and keeps a good gap away from me.
Based on Ivan's pace, I suspect he's on the hard tires as well. Killer Miller catching up real quick. He must be on the softs. I am right on Ivan's bumper. It is better I work with him to get away from Miller rather than fight now. Miller hits me hard in the last quarter of the lap. And I got all bent out of shape, having a hard time getting myself back together. Unfortunately, too far away to retaliate and now a little tense.
slowly getting closer to Ivan. He tries to take me out of the slipstream, but comes back into the racing line. And I pass, but I'm not going to be defensive. Random question for you if you made it this far. Do you have dogs? Especially ones that can be rather noisy? I have two huskies and sometimes when they want something they can get rather noisy. Unfortunately, they started telling me what they wanted and I lose my focus and any potential of a podium finish in this turn. And just when I thought it was over, I don't quite get myself in order while my dogs are still making a ton of noise and I make another mistake. Fast forward to lap 19, the last four laps were just me being alone trying to catch up to the drivers in front. And drivers are getting ready for the last stint on fresher tires. Dixie has really gotten away from the rest of us. He was able to make each tire compound last a really long time. I think he made the medium tires last about 15 or 16 laps before changing to the hard tires. So it turns out Dixie and I use the same tire strategy. Just he was better at managing his tires. And because of the few major mishaps I had over the last 10 laps, I really have fallen behind.
I was planning to only use the soft tires for the last seven laps, but I'm having more difficulties continuing with this hard tire, so I go in a few laps early. Luckily, with the clean air, I should be able to get closer to Ivan in fifth. Fast forward one lap and Barry is going into the pits moving me up to fifth. Ivan still nowhere in sight and it remains like this for the rest of the race. I reduced the gap between me and fifth but nowhere near enough to make a difference. A good result overall, moving up five positions, enough to move us closer to having that a rank driver rating. And on that note, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next video.